All right, for this example, we're going to take a look at a bunch of different graphs and tables and really just figure out what family of equations that really comes from. All right, let's go ahead and look at the first of these and see what we can find. So in looking at the shape of this particular graph, we see that it has two really big arms that get really close to the x and the y-axis. We're also given its equation down here in the corner, y equals 1 divided by x, which is a dead giveaway that this comes from the reciprocal family. A way that you can really recognize this is when looking at the equation, we're dividing by that x variable. And in terms of the graph, we have that missing value that those arms are really getting close to. All right, on to the next one. Let's see what's happening in this table. So we want to think of like how the x and the y values are really related. And it doesn't really matter what uh, section I look at this table, it appears that the x and the y values are always the same. Which tells us that this is really coming from the equation y is equal to x. Which is of course one of the most basic linear equations we could have. So we'll write this as linear. All right, this one, oh, this one has a very nice distinctive U shape to it. And of course we see its equation in the corner, y equals x squared. This is from our quadratic family. All right, we have a couple more. Let's see what uh, we have for those. All right, this next one is another table. Uh, and looking at the x and y values, they're not the same. Sometimes they are, but not always. It seems that for the negative values, they turn positive. Negative 2 goes to positive 2, negative 1 goes to positive 1. If they're already positive, nothing really is changing. So this appears to come from the equation y equals the absolute value of x, which tells us this comes from the absolute value family. All right, and one more. Uh, this one looks like it's increasing, but doing very slowly. And, uh, oh, look at that, we got an equation in the corner, y equals the square root of x. This tells us we come from the square root family. All right, and those are just a few things to look at uh, when determining what family these all come from. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.